We can't allow evil to win, and I think that's where we are, and we've got to continually evaluate and build upon what is working and improve on stuff that's not. Former Columbine High School principal Frank DeAngelis is spreading a message of compassion at a national conference for school resource officers going on in Pigeon Forge. 10 News reporter Grace King shows us he's also reflecting on the lessons he's learned in the 20 years since Columbine. April 20th, 1999. They're running over toward Pierce Street now. A day that plays on repeat for former Columbine principal Frank DeAngelis. We joined a club that no one wants to be a member. 13 dead, 12 students, and his close colleague, Dave Sanders. There's nothing we can do to bring back these, our kids, our loved ones, our, the people that are so precious to us. Instead, he's making it his mission to share a message of preparedness. We're doing all kinds of emergency drills. And compassion. Don't underestimate the impact that you could have on kids. Around the world, including here in Pigeon Forge at the National Convention for School Resource Officers. One of the most important changes is the involvement of school resource officers in our schools to be building relationships, to be acting as resources. It's a fight Michelle Gay takes personally too. I'm the mother of three beautiful girls, one of whom I lost on December 14th, 2012 at Sandy Hook School. Her daughter, Joey, was just seven. Unfortunately, threats to safety are constantly evolving and, and we are learning. Uh, we're um, sharing in each other's resources, perspectives, expertise. Expertise from decades of lessons learned. We were able to turn pain into healing and you know, hatred into love and ignorance and into enlightenment. But let's do it in memory of you know Joey and Emily and the 13 from Columbine. A difference, he says, any single person or SRO can make in a student's life. As I state time and time again, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Grace King, 10 News. DeAngelis also says he would support tearing down Columbine High School. He fears the building is a common target for threats and a place of fascination for wannabe copycat shooters.